Hey everybody, welcome to this uh, new Python tutorial. My name is George and what we're going to do today is that uh, we're going to make a Python script that it can uh, basically replicate itself just like a worm type uh, program. So what we got over here is on the left side uh, we have uh, our script. We got two modules that we're going to use in this program. We got the terminal over here and over here we got our script uh, basically with nothing but what we're going to do is that we're going to create um, a set of directories with a copy of this program over here inside them so uh, what, we're going, what we're going to do now is that uh, we need uh, to capture um, arguments in this program so that is the reason why we first import this um, module over here this uh, argument module basically allow us to uh, capture the name of the program when we execute it so what we're going to do now just ignore this process uh, for the moment what you need to do is that you need to uh, create a variable you can call it script and say that the variable script is equals to argv is this uh, module over here okay now go ahead and type print script so you can check it out wha what it basically is and uh, what we're going to do over here is that we're going to execute the program so type python and then type program.py and what you see over here is basically a list uh, of the arguments that were used when we executed python uh, but notice that the uh, first argument is the program itself so we got program.py uh, and you got it over here so uh, as you see that it is a list you can save it uh, in the name of the archives for example name equal and type in str so you can format it to a string variable and type in a script and between a square brackets type 0 and then you can print the name of this program okay now uh, as you can see you can uh, notice that uh, what we printed over here is the name of the of the script is program.py now that we got the name we're going to execute some system commands uh, in Linux so that's why uh, we're importing the subprocess module over here basically because it allow us to execute uh, system commands like if we were on the terminal so the first thing that, that you want to do is that we want to create a for cycle for example for and uh, you can type i in range we're going to create a range over here between 0 and 10 and after that we can create a directory and now for creating a directory we need a directory name so type in directory name equals and you can type whatever you want for example directory or type in uh, copy for example and then concatenate the i variable in the for loop so it will be named like uh, copy 0, copy 2, copy 4, whatever no. so uh, go ahead and type in string I and now we're going to call the the subprocess module and the call function so we can execute um, uh, make directory command over here so go ahead and make a list and inside that list in the first element we're going to type in the command mkdir that is for make a directory and the second parameter of this uh, list will be the name of the of the directory so type in directory name now now that we got that what we need to do is to basically copy the script itself and how we're we going to do that we just need to call the copy command um, inside python so you can say subprocess dot call and again make a list over here and the first uh, element is going to be the copy command which is uh, cp and the second parameter 
or element in this list um, basically it is the parameter the first parameter for the copy command it will be the name of the file that we wish to copy and that will be the script itself so that's what we're going to write name which we uh, got earlier in this uh, video which is over here you can see it here and the second parameter will be the name uh, no, not the name but the path uh, of the location you wish to put that uh, particular file so the path in in this context will be the directory name that we just created so you just put directory directory name and that's it just save this program and execute it again and what you will get over here we can see all the, the directories we made and you can enter every directory and you will see the a copy of the program itself uh, for example over here and here and here and er everywhere and if you wanna be sure that it copied uh, right you can just open this program and you can see that it has exact, exactly the same code as the program we are basically running which is this over here so that's it we just made a program that basically copies itself and um, well then i think that's it i hope you like this video if you did uh, please uh, don't forget to hit the like button share it with your friends and subscribe if you want and don't forget to comment in the comment section below so see you later bye bye